Okay, this is the first round of the Grassroots Australian Hard Enduro Championship. We are at uh, Tenterfield, just about to go and do the Senior Prologue. All three classes running Prologue, all running the same track. And the plan of attack is, slow and steady, going to do a siding lap first and then head back out for a second lap and see if we can do something a little bit quicker. But, uh, not racing for sheep station, so just take it nice and easy. Radio. Thanks, Rick. So I've just got to treat this one like a, an easy trail ride. See where the rocks are. See where the stumps are see what's been dug out. In the Grassroots Enduro Series, riding the Prologue course to qualify is an option, it's not mandatory. The downside is that if you choose not to run the Prologue, you start at the back of the group of your riding class. And while this isn't important for people that are not in the race to win the race, it does mean that if you run the Prologue, even if you qualify halfway through the field, means that you're going to skip all the traffic and all the groups and bottlenecks that happen at the start of every race. This particular prologue track was more suited to the faster open country riders. There weren't too many technical obstacles to go over so I just treated it like an easy ride and if there are any faster riders coming up behind me I just pull over and got out of their road. Just got to be careful on this off camber stuff to uh, stay on the high side because you're always better off having to drop from a higher position to a lower position. This is my opinion anyway, rather than starting down low and having to buddy work your way back up into a rut. Riding the prologue track also gives you a good opportunity to shake down your bike before the race, as well as to get a feel for the terrain across the course as well. So the only other real obstacle we've got for the prologue is the pinch. It's going to be interesting uh, to see what that looks like with so many bikes if it um there's only oh there's only really two lines i'm super comfortable with there's a, there is another line that i'm not i'll take it if i have to take it but i'm not confident in taking it so we'll see how nasty it looks it's like going around it's going to be the quickest path a few people lined up there
there's Scotty over there, cheeky little bugger, he's having a field day. No one's going over the pallet rack, rack because there's no room to body get any speed to go over it, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Not going to be much log left by the end of the prologue. Hey Scotty! Happy? <laughs> Buddy. Appreciate it. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, good, no drama. Is that a um, few, few bikes off the track? How'd you go up the side, Archie? All good? Is the bottom all chewed out now? Yeah, the bike yeah. blew up and something happened. Nice, good job. So going back out for a second, second go off the prologue. I don't think I'm going to pick up any time uh, on the main parts of the track, but uh, if I can avoid some of the um, traffic jams that we had on the first lap. I might be able to pick up a, I don't know, one or two minutes there, we'll see how we go. bottleneck on the second lap of the prologue took about 30 minutes to clear so at the end of the day it was a bit of a pointless effort to try and get a faster time. I ended up qualifying in the slower half of the silver class.